Hey, it's me, KG, Chris Gardner, owner of the Houston Round Ball Review. How you doing out there? Quick hitters, that's a brief little clips here, video clip. I'm going to post comments. Houston Cougars men's basketball and the net rankings and the opponents and how it impacts the Cougs nets in Q1, Q2, etc. Cougs are, as of today, February 12th, through the games played February 11th, 21-3. and three. Overall, 8-3 in the Big 12 in first place. Number one in the net, and of course, if you don't know, the net stands for NCAA Evaluation Tool, and it's one of the metrics that the basketball committee uses to select the teams, the at-large teams, for the NCAA men's tournament. A few days ago, the Cougs had eight Q1 wins. Now they have seven. The win-loss record hasn't changed. They're still 21-3 and three overall, but let's get some details to figure out why. Cougs record, 7-3 in Q1, 2-0 Q2, 5-0 in Q3. It used to be 4-0. Q4 is 7-0. Now, all those seven wins in Q4 is non-conference schedule. You see the remaining games for the Cougs. have seven games left in the Big 12, 5-Q1, 2-Q2. Longhorns this Saturday. Horns, as of today, are ranked 33rd in the net. That counts as a Q2. Real quickly, want to talk about it. You're at, if you're out there wondering, Chris, what are you talking about with quadrant ones, Q ones, Q two, Q three, Q four, etc. Here's a slide with more some details about the Q one, the quadrant that the committee uses as part of the formulas for selection. Quadrant one, and this is based on your opponent's ranking in the net. Home one to thirty. So the Cougs beat the Longhorns on Saturday. It's a Q two because the Longhorns are currently ranked thirty three. And the Cougs are playing at home. Got that? Q1, home wins, 1 to 30. Neutral site, 1 to 50. Road games, 1 to 75. Q2, home, 31 to 75. Neutral, 51 to 100. Away, 76 to 135. Q3, home, 76 to 160. Neutral, 101 to 200. Road game, 136 to 240. And last but not least, Q4, home, 161 to 362, neutral, 201 to 362, and then road, 241 to 362. So back at it, you see the Cougs remaining seven games, Longhorns, Saturday, CBS, high at noon. It's a Q2 because the home game and the Horns are ranked 33rd. Monday, next Monday, the 19th, Iowa State, Cyclones are ranked. Ninth, obviously that's a Q1. Baylor, Saturday in Waco on the 24th. Bears are ranked 13. That'll be a Q1. Home against Cincinnati. Bearcats as of right now, Q2, 34. Oklahoma, March 2nd on the road. Coach Sampson returns to the Norman. Soon as are currently ranked Q, no, in Q1, ranked 30th. Keep that in mind. That's a road game. So once again, someone is ranked 30th, it's a Q1. You see why that is? Because for the away opponent, it's 1 to 75. So the Sooners, between now and March 2nd, that game will still count as Q1, barring some drastic collapse by the Sooners to fall out of the top 75 for a road opponent for the Cougars. March 6th at UCF, it's a road game. Remember that, road game, it's Q1 because is 66, and that falls within the road 1 to 75 time frame. Not time frame, but slot. And the last but not least, senior day, March 9th, 3 o'clock, Kansas comes to Fertitta. Jayhawks are ranked 12th. Clearly, it's a Q1. I touched on it at the beginning of this slide and how the impact, how some of the Cougs' wins have changed from Q1 to Q2, Q2 to Q3. Here it is. Texas Tech's recent stumbles have moved the Cougs' home win over Tech from Q1 to Q2. Tech is currently 38 in the net. Home wins in Q2 start at 31. Tech's best ranking this season was 26. So at one point, Tech was a Q1 ranking. Now they are in the net of 38, so that is a Q2. That's why it has changed from 1 to 2. Plus, the Cougs' home win over K-State is now a Q3 instead of Q2. K-State's ranking is now 77. Home wins in Q3 category start at 76. 
the Cougs beat K-State when the Rock Wildcats were 74 in the net. Net rankings as of February 11th. It's for all 14 teams in the Big 12. Cougs 1, BYU 8, Iowa State 9, Kansas 12, Baylor 13, Oklahoma 30, Texas 33, Cincinnati 34, Texas Tech 38, TCU 41, UCF 66, Kansas State 77, Oklahoma State 135, and West Virginia 154. Now, if you're wondering, the net changes daily based on what your opponent does with their schedule, if they win or lose, to whom they win or lose, and where they win or lose. So it changes daily based on what your opponents do. So wrapping it up, the net fluctuates. It changes on a day-to-day basis based on what the Cougs' opponents do. So in conclusion, you see the seven remaining games as of February 12th. That's what the Cougs' opponents' net rankings are. Longhorns 33, Iowa State 9, Baylor 13, Bearcats 34, Sooners 30, UCF 66, Jayhawks 12. But between now and the rest of the season, those rankings will change based on what those teams do in their games. Got all that content like that, more info, interviews, shows, et cetera, here on the Houston Round Bar View YouTube channel. Enjoy your, it's morning time. Enjoy you some coffee or tea or your favorite beverage in your Houston Round Bar View mug. Click on that shop button below to get you a mug or a hoodie or a cap or a tank top or a long sleeve shirt or a t-shirt. Houston Round Bar View, looking for your support. Appreciate your support, your help visiting the channel, telling your friends about the channel, all those good things. And of course, if you want to advertise on these one on nuns, the show, the live stream shows, such as Let's Talk Houston Rockets, FTS, which is Folks Talking Sports, or these one on nuns, simply email me at kgardner at t-h-e-h-r-r dot com. Looking forward to hopefully attending the Big 12 Basketball Championship next month in Kansas City. And got some ideas for shows and advertising for sponsors for those as well. So hit me up, email me, kgardner at t h e h r r dot com. And always remember this since 1994, the Houston Round Bar Review, local name, global perspective.